conscious as Southern Californians are, it comes as no surprise that there are many new types of activities that come out of this environment. And one of those new exercises is backwards running. I recently had a chance to talk with the author of a comprehensive book on the subject, and I have this report for you. Running is one of man's most natural forms of exercise. And in the last few years, it has picked up popularity in this body-conscious Southern California climate. But what happens when you turn around, face the other way, and keep running? Well, it is a very little known, yet steadily growing form of running technique, simply called backwards running. Well, I'm here right now with Dr. Robert Stevenson, who has written the book called Backwards Running. Dr. Stevenson, what inspired you to write a book about backwards running? Well, there's never been a book written on backwards running. And over my years of research, I've found that backwards running is the most beneficial form of running and that there definitely should be something written on the topic. So therefore, I researched backwards running thoroughly. I've spent the last three years researching the topic, and the result was a book. Why uh, should one run backwards? There are two major reasons. If you're an athlete and involved in a sport requiring running, backwards running is a required foot movement for those sports. If you're in football, a quarterback, the quarterback has to drop back for the pass. If you're a defensive back in football, defensive backs always have to backpedal. In basketball, on defense, you're backpedaling down the court. Same thing in baseball, outfielders backpedal on fly balls. Okay, so it's a required foot movement for athletes. Secondly, if you're just interested in good personal physical fitness, backwards running will get you in shape faster than any other exercise I know. What are some of the specific benefits of running backwards, Dr. Stevenson? Okay, backwards running, for one, builds up the leg muscles, in particular leg muscles that forwards running does not build up. The main muscle which backwards running develops is the quadricep muscle. Now this muscle is important because it stabilizes the knee. Mm -hmm. And it turns out in America, five million knee injuries are incurred every year by people who do not follow a properly balanced physical fitness program. It's amazing. When you run backwards, you're pushing off on the ball of your toes. Therefore, you develop the shin muscles, the quadricep muscles, also the calf muscles. When you run forwards, it's a heel-to-toe action, and so all you build up is the hamstring muscle. Boy, Pat and Tracy look like you guys are getting a pretty good workout out there. How do you feel, Pat? Mighty good. Pat, uh, do people ever give you a funny look when you're running down the track backwards? Sure do. They have all kinds of funny questions when you run back, too, like the world is going the other way, turn around, things like that. Tracy, are there any psychological benefits to running backwards? It just makes you feel real good after working on your feet all day long. Uh, it, it's definitely a benefit to run backwards. So you definitely utilize it in your regular workout? Oh, yeah. Pat, uh, how long a backwards running workout do you put in in a day or a week? Uh, usually a half mile every other day, and that's approximately three times a week, sometimes more, but usually the average of three times. What would you tell to the people that are starting to run backwards, Tracy? What, uh, what would you say would be the thing that would catch them into running backwards? Well, it, uh, I think it makes running forwards easier. After running backwards a while, I can run a lot further running forwards, and uh, it really helps in developing my legs and getting rid of the extra fat. So even somebody like me that can't even crawl straight, you say I should try something like that? Oh, sure. It, it would, I think it would, it's fun. It's not, it's not really like a workout. It's, it's different, so it's kind of fun. I'm here with Edmund Moses, who happens to be one of our Olympic and world record low hurdle champions. And Edmund, you're telling me that uh, you utilize the backwards running technique in your training too. Yeah, I do an awful lot of stretching and uh, other kinds of isometric exercises and uh, occasionally I run backwards and even sideways to strengthen up the uh, lower legs and ankles and also if I get tightness in the uh, calf muscles it helps to loosen it up. Can backwards running help you if you've had a, a slight injury or pull in the leg? Definitely, that's, uh, I, I don't have injuries fortunately but uh, that would be the case where I would use it the most. 
What would you say to people that are, are running forwards right now? Would you recommend backwards running as something they can add to the repertory of, of running techniques? Yes, I think it is. I think that uh, a lot of people who run a lot of distance, maybe five, six miles a day, often suffer shin splints. And I think that uh, backwards running definitely, uh, as far as I know, it helps to uh, relieve that, that condition. Do a lot of the other runners that compete in, in world champion uh, running, do they also utilize backwards running as far as you know? Uh, I think a few do, probably about 30%, but uh, I don't think uh, most people really do it that much, not at all. Is there any competitive edge when you include backwards running? Anytime you can stay free of injury and uh, stay comfortable, I think it's an edge. So I, I would have to say, yeah. Well, I think I'm going to have to do a few workouts before I get into the Boston Marathon. For Lifestyles, I'm John Bouvier.